this is a stained glass window in a mosque. Love this place. This is the Mosque Cathedral of Cordoba. It's one of the oldest mosques in the world, dating back 1,200 years. Since the Spanish Reconquista 750 years ago, it's been under the control of Christians. The Spanish king who took Cordoba was so overcome with the beauty of the place that he opted not to knock the whole thing down and build a church on it, which was the standard practice at the time. Instead, he built a church inside the mosque. If you watch this channel with some regularity, you'll probably be aware that I'm more than a little bit of a history nerd. There are a lot of churches in the world, but this, this is my church. When I visited for the first time last week, I just sort of stumbled around in awe. Over the past few weeks, I've been diving deep into some of the nastier bits of modern Islam. It's for a project I hope to release early in the coming year. This trip was a nice reminder that there's a lot more to world religions than a couple decades of oil-funded hate and horror and bloody overreaction. Not to get too sappy, but the beauty of this place reminds me that we're all one people on this globe of ours. Today, there are vastly more Muslims and Christians working together for a better world than there are tearing it apart no matter what Donald Trump or Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi tells you. This was true of the Spanish Reconquista as well, despite its portrayal in pop culture and conventional history. This building is a testament to that cooperation. Sure, somebody was always subjugating someone. That's just what pre-modern life was. But whether it's 8th century Muslim architects using Roman forms to create something new, 19th century Christian designers copying caliphate styles, this building embodies the better side of history. I'm not generally a fan of popes, but John Paul II got it mostly right with an inscription he left here on the 1200th anniversary of the mosque construction. He said, This building offers a great opportunity to show the brotherhood that exists between those that profess their faith in a single God. He was talking about the commonality between Christians and Muslims. I'd go a lot farther than that, but hey, it's a start. This building reminds me that civilization is about a lot more than war and competition. As we close out a particularly odd year, I thought that was a message worth repeating. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And if you'd like to help me make more videos like this one, please click on the Patreon link here to find out how. Thanks.